Here we are going to install Palo Alto firewall in GNS3. To add the firewall image, you need to go to in edit preferences. Then go to QEMU VMs, click on new. And then you need to select run this QEM VM on the GNS3 VM. Then click next give any name here you can give pa 8 dot 0 dot 0 then click on next and the minimum ram requirement for the pa firewall is 4 gb so you can give here 5000 mb ram size and then click on next telnet next then here you need to select your image file click on the browse here i already downloaded pa palo alto 8.0.0 image file from the internet you can easily get on the internet and if you are finding any difficulty to download this file just let me know i'll share with you and so you need to select this image file click open now uh, this file will be uploaded to gns3 the file size is 1.9 gb it will take three to four minutes to upload this file Now you can see the file has been uploaded to GNS3 then click on the finish. So you can see it is already uploaded to the GNS3 but uh, you need to make some changes. So click on edit and here you can see name will be fine there is no issue and symbol you need to select the firewall symbol here. Please wait. So here uh, we can select any firewall symbol here. Uh, firewall symbol. You can select this image file and the category here it is selected as a end device. So you need to select security devices and this one will be okay. There is no need to change other setting here there is no change in the hdd cd dvd in network you can select 8 adapter and the ethernet port you can you can do like this ethernet one slice and then here you can give the port one and the segment size you can left is as a default and the type here in you need to select this para virtualized network so you need second you need to select the second last and then go to the advanced setting and go to the advanced setting and here in the additional option you need to uh, give it like smp to hyphen smp2 and hyphen no graphic then click on ok ok here you can see symbol has been changed and apply then click ok so click here you can see it is already uploaded here in the GNS3 so just drag and drop now we are going to start it I have started the uh, PA firewall now click console so it will take some time to boot the firewall it may take uh, four to five minutes so here now you can see that uh, firewall has been booted and the default IP address it uh, it, it got it uh, 
for example if there is no dscv server in your network and if you haven't connected your firewall to the internet by default this ip address will be assigned to to your firewall to your management interface of your firewall and now a uh, default uh, username and password is admin and admin i think it, it will take some more time to uh, to allow you login in i think it will take two three minutes but it is working fine so you can follow these steps to add your pa firewall image in the gns3 and if you are finding any difficulties just let me know i'll help you out on this thank you so much for watching